Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love ratings. Yes, we are a bit behind. We apologize for that. It's just been a crazy schedule lately. But anyways, let's get into your reading Sagittarius. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month of February going into uh, the first two weeks of March in regards to your love and romance. All right, your first card here, is it safe for you to love? Second card, finances and career and new love. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So what they're saying here is um, when it comes to partnerships or when it comes to relationships, you need to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Um a lot of you guys have been through difficult situations and there is a need of you to really open yourself up. It's almost like you've kind of, you know, you've brought yourself or you've boxed yourself in. Uh, perhaps for some of you guys, it's very difficult for you guys to be or want to be vulnerable around people. And that's absolutely OK. But there's a need to do that. Uh, there's a need not to be so guarded, not to be so protective of yourself or your heart. Only then will you be able to actually allow someone in, allow someone to get to know you, uh, the real you. Um, and again, is it safe for you to love? This speaks volumes um, uh, because I feel that for most of you, it could be that you're tainted or it could be that you're just not interested or you shy away from partnerships because of the past. So what they're saying here is open yourself up to the possibilities. The more energy and effort that we put towards things that we fear or things that we don't want to happen, the more energy you put into it actually manifesting before you. So if you've often find yourself going from relationship to relationship and it just doesn't work out or for some reason um, you tend to attract almost like the same type of personality, it could be because you, you fear so much or you want so much not to go through the same thing you went through in the past, but you're putting effort and energy towards that. So you're sending a signal of wanting exactly what you don't want, and that's exactly what you get. So again, be mindful about that. Now, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, this could signify um, that financial stability could be a burden or could be an issue um, in regards to the relationship, uh, it could be that, you know, a partner could be an overspender or it could be that a partner's just not responsible uh, if you've been in a long term committed relationship. Um, so at the present in the now finances is very important. If you cannot rely or depend on someone, it's 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 important for us to rely on ourselves and to do for ourselves. No one's going to come and save us. Unfortunately, it would be great if it did work that way, but it doesn't. And we got to look out for ourselves and we got to put ourselves first. Sometimes that's necessary. So what they're telling you here is if you're currently going through fin financial difficulties and you are or an example, if you are waiting for, you know, a past lover, if you have children, uh, to actually take the responsibility and to, you know, give child support or to arrange some type of agreement. Don't solely depend on that because the the possibility of that coming through very quickly for you is going to, you're going to be disappointed. So what they're saying here is right now in the present time, you should be putting your energy and focus and effort towards success or towards your finances, towards achieving goals uh, for yourself. Uh, you can't rely on a person, especially if you're dealing with people from the past, like I said, uh, with child support, alimony, anything like that. What they're saying is um, do what you have to do in order to get yourself right and the rest will follow or the rest will fall into place. Now, you do have new love here. A new person is steered your romantic feelings. For those of you guys that are currently single, uh, this is an indication that uh, new love is in the air. We go back to opening yourself up and not being so guarded, not being so overprotective of your heart. Um, try to stay away from negative self-talk. 
they are saying that there's a lot of you know negative self-talk that's happening right now uh it could be that you're very harsh on yourself it could be that you're very critical about what you do or how you are understand and know on a deeper level that we are like who we are is not an accident we were meant to be the way we are for a higher reason whatever your life purpose is if you have a good heart you cannot blame yourself for oh i'm so silly you know i trusted this person wholeheartedly they let me down so now i'm not going to be you know that innocent and i'm just going to protect myself you're changing your nature or you're trying to tweak your nature based off of past experiences yes let this lessons be or have made you wiser uh, but don't be tainted by that so again also for a lot of you guys what they're saying is don't be cynical when it comes to love um this usually indicates to me a person that has gone through a lot of difficulties and we kind of built a wall around our heart and we become a bit pessimistic or a bit uh, cynical when it comes to love and romance we see other people being in in relationships or being all in love and we're like oh wait until you guys get comfortable or that type of energy and what they're telling you is stop doing that Sagittarius you need to really put effort in being more positive and raising your vibration only then will you be able not only to attract a person that's right for you but you will or I should say they will be attracted to you uh, because of your beautiful energy. By nature, Sagittarius, you're very playful. You're very loving. You're very giving. That's your nature. Um, don't let that change because of how people have treated you in the past. Uh, and this is even for those of you guys that aren't in a long-term committed relationship. If you find yourself that you've been changing or you don't recognize who you are now because of past experiences or because of the way the relationship has played out um don't let them take that power away from you don't change who you are purely because they're unhappy with themselves or purely because they're unsatisfied with their life ambitions don't let them diminish your light sagittarius okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye